Hi there, and uh, welcome to video number 12. This video is on mixed numbers and improper fractions, another grade two topic from the number section. Um, and yes, I've got a couple of keywords here for you to understand. The first keyword is mixed number. Uh, a mixed number is a number that is a whole number and has a fraction next to it. So it's the whole and part of the whole. Um, an improper fraction is a number, uh, as a fraction that has a number that is on the top that's bigger than the number on the bottom, okay? Uh, some people call them top heavy fractions. Uh, now, I've got a method, there's two methods here. The first part of the method is for improper to mixed, and then the other way around in, is the second part of the method here. Okay, now question number one um, is turning improper fractions into mixed numbers. So we'll use the first method. So to turn an improper fraction into a mixed number, you need to see how many of the bottom number fit into the top number. Uh, and that gives you the whole number bit. Uh, then you see how many are left over for the fraction bit, and then it's all out of whatever the fraction was out of. So uh, the first question is four fits into 27. How many times? Well, if we know our four times table, we know that it goes in six whole times, all right? And again, you've got to learn your times tables. It makes maths an awful lot easier when you do not have a calculator. Um, two calculator papers, one non-calculator paper. The non-calculator tends to be the hardest because it's the one where you have to just know a lot more uh, about your times tables. Uh, and then, yes, sorry, I've got sidetracked there, but it goes in six whole times, right? How many are left over from 24 to 27? Well, there's three left over, three remainders, and that's out of four. So that's our answer, six and three quarters, all right? Now, the second one, again, much the same thing. We look at six, see how many times it fits into seven. It goes in one whole time with one left over out of the six that was already there on the bottom. So one and one sixth is the answer to that one, okay? Now, in question two, we need the second method in the method box here. We're going to go the other way with it, from mixed numbers to improper fractions, okay? Um, and yes, what we're going to do is we're going to turn uh, the mixed number into an improper fraction, and we're going to multiply the bottom number of the fraction by the whole number, and then we're going to add that onto the top of the fraction, okay? So the three gets multiplied by the eight, which is 24. Add that to the top, that's 25, and then it's still all out of three, okay? And there's our improper fraction it's top heavy now and uh, in the second question we've got seven multiplied by seven is 49 uh, plus the four is 53 and that will be out of seven okay now what's the point of, of changing these things up all right now in the maths papers we want our answers as mixed numbers most of the time okay and uh, when we're doing our calculations if we've got a mixed number most of the time it is useful or the most useful thing to convert them to um, improper fractions, okay? If we work with the improper fractions, it makes things a bit easier, okay? Now, um, I'm just gonna move myself over here, and we're gonna have a look at this kind of more wordy question, slightly more difficult question, because we have to figure out what it is that we need to do in order to be able to get the answer to the question. And this one is about Harry, and Harry feeds his dog two thirds of a can of dog food each day. Um, we've got to work out how many cans does he use in two weeks. Okay, I'm going to give our answer as a mixed number. Now, um, if he has two thirds of a, a can of dog food for each day, let's just think about how many cans he's using in uh, two days, for example. So we just take this and we multiply it by two. All right, um, we've got to do a little bit of fraction calculations here. Um, that would be two multiplied by two, which is four and four out of three, four thirds of a can. Four thirds of a can is actually more than one can, isn't it? Because you've got four thirds of it, okay? It's a one and one third of a can. I've just done it all in my head, all right? And I've got, I've worked out how much he's got for two days, all right? But we want two weeks, all right? Now, two weeks is 14 days. That's my first thing that I'd, I'd be thinking of there. So I'm just gonna write down two weeks equals 14 days. This You don't have to write this bit down, but that just kind of really helps you know what you need to do for the problem. You're gonna take the two thirds, and you're going to multiply it by 14 because he's getting two thirds of a can, this dog, right, over the 14 days, all right, he's having that every day. Um, now, if you've got a number here, 14, and it's not a fraction, you can make it a fraction, okay, just by popping it over one. That hasn't changed the number. 14 over one is 14 divided by one, and 14 divided by one is still 14, all right? Um, rewind that if you didn't catch that. Um, but two multiplied by 14 is what we would do here. Okay, and that gives us 28, because it's multiplying fractions. And then that's all gonna be over 
3 times by 1, which is 3. Okay, so he's this dog is getting 28 thirds of a, uh, a can. Okay, now that's obviously a lot more than one can or two cans. So we're going to work out uh, two cans. It's going to work out uh, how much, uh, how many cans it is. And we want our answer as a mixed number. Okay, because this isn't really contextual. It doesn't really make much sense to us. If I said, yeah, I'm going to feed my dog 28 thirds of a can over two weeks, people would be like, what are you want about? Okay, so I'm going to see how many of this bottom number fit into this top number. And three goes into 28. Well, I know my three times table. Now it goes in nine times. All right, and I know there's one left over out of three okay so uh, how many cans does he use in two weeks well he's using nine and one third of a can technically all right but if we think about it like how many cans is he opening well he's opening 10 cans isn't he because he's opened more than nine so i think a uh, slightly ambiguous question all right but i'm going to write down the exact amount of of cans he's using he's using nine and one third but i would be happy to un to take the answer of 10 there as being the correct answer as long as you've shown you're working um for that particular question all right because it is in context and it does make sense that you've opened an extra can all right um i mean this is where maths gets a little bit more enjoyable isn't it like we we're understanding why we're using it here um it does make more sense all right so please do uh, like the videos if you've if you've learned something from it um and uh, subscribe to the channel i'm always going to keep saying that um i'm here on video you can see me uh and you can see that i um want to make a difference to your lives and help you get better at maths hopefully while i'm making these videos otherwise um yeah watch them enjoy them click the links in the descriptions practice your maths and, and do it regularly and you will get better and i will keep being here to help you do that and try and upload as many things as i possibly can on a regular basis um if you like it all right if not I won't bother all right have a lovely day and take care of yourselves cheers i'll be back soon